Uh, we've been talking about the Jets and the Giants, a rough Sunday for both teams. And now, as is um, what we do always on Monday at 4 o'clock, we talk to the Jets head coach, Todd Bowles. The Todd Bowles Report brought to you by Open Road Audi of Manhattan and MNT Bank. Coach, how you doing? I'm doing okay, Mike. How you doing? Uh, pretty good. Uh, listening to you yesterday and reading what you said yesterday, you sounded almost like exasperated. You've had some time to think about it. Well, what's What's your view of what happened yesterday? Uh, it didn't change. Still exasperated because there are things we were doing every day. We just didn't do them as well yesterday. And, you know, that's frustrating. But we'll go back to the drawing board and we'll fix it and we'll move on from there. What exactly do you think is broken with this defense? It wasn't broken. It was just uh, here and there plays that we had every day that we practiced and some routine stuff that we just didn't do or got overzealous and did some things that we're not used to doing. So we'll correct that mistakes and we'll go from there. Uh, I don't know if you feel like this, but uh, I, I'm going to ask you anyway. Wouldn't you rather a guy not be good enough to do something rather than be good enough to do it and just for some reason not do it the right way? No doubt about it, man. You know, they've been doing it the right way the whole time. Since yesterday, it was, it was just, it just went wrong. For some reason, it went wrong. And, you know, we'll, we'll make sure we get that corrected. Yeah, just, I, I guess the thing that bothers me, and, and listen, I'm no expert on how to stop offenses, but the gaps, the how wide open receivers were, just try to educate me on how something like that happens. Is that a mental breakdown or a physical breakdown? There were some mental breakdowns that don't normally occur that happened, and we understood everything that was happening, and there was a mental breakdown with here and there, and, you know, we'll take care of it. Now, you've lost the three games after the great game on uh, the opening night against Detroit. Uh, do you feel like the season could be getting away? I mean, a quarter of the season's gone, and you're one and three. What, what's your feelings on that? I mean, is there some nerves involved with this? Well, there are nerves involved every week. Uh, I don't feel like it's getting away yet. We have a three-game home stand. I think that'll be critical for us going forward. We try to win one, all three of these games one at a time, and you know we've made all the mistakes we need to make, and we need to shore things up for Sunday and make sure we're ready because we can't afford any more. Now, obviously, a coach's main job is you have to take the temperature of your team. What's the temper of, temperature of your team after yesterday's game and today? Pissed off, but good. You know, they, they, mentally they're tough. I don't have a problem with that, and they'll be ready to play. But they're pissed off, and we're pissed off as well as coaches, and we should be. And that was just one of those games. Out of the four games we played, I think that was the worst one for me. Tremaine Johnson, uh, you went out, spent a lot of money for him. Uh, I think he's underachieved. How would you assess how he's played? Well, he gave up a ball yesterday. He has a short-term memory of the corner. He's taken away a lot of things that he doesn't get credit for, but I'm satisfied with his play, but we can't have what happened yesterday. we got to be smarter than that part. All right, no turnovers for Darnold, but after the game you didn't sound as if you thought he had a great game. So tell us, tell us your grade on him. What would you think? No, I thought he grew mentally. I mean, I thought he grew mentally, and I thought he made some good decisions. There's some things he has to learn, obviously, that he saw that he'll adjust to, but I thought he made a step forward from that standpoint. I don't think anybody on either side of the ball played well because we lost. I don't think we coached well, so the grades aren't very good all the way around, but I think he's making progress. Is he where you thought he would be going into Week 5? He's right where I thought he would be. I mean, he, he's a little better than I thought he would be going into week five right now. Now, toward the end of the game yesterday, uh, you guys are down by you know, a significant amount, and it's fourth and whatever, and you decide to punt. Um, tell us the reasoning behind that. Why not just go for it? Which one? It was two of them. There was one with about 12 minutes, and there was another one with about four the minutes. The four minute four minutes. The four minute one, they were, had we not gotten the first down, I think it was fourth and sixth. There was, it was about maybe the 20 yard line. They were already in field goal range, and the game would have completely been over. But with two timeouts left, and our defense had been getting turnovers, we were trying to get the ball back, and we figured we had to score. We had two scores to get anyway. And so we figured we had to get the ball back, and we could onside kick and get the ball back again. But but didn't work out. It's a little less of an issue, but it was definitely raised at 26-3, the field goal. 
Well, we just needed points. We needed points, and we knew we were going to, we were going to have to get a field goal anyway. We needed points mm -hmm. to go from there, and that was fourth and eight or fourth and 11, and that drive didn't go very well, so we needed the point to get on the board from a positive standpoint. Um, a lot of people had a problem, although you didn't seem like you did, and neither did your team, with Marone going for the two-point conversion when he was up by 19 with, you know, whatever, how short amount of time left. Did you have a problem with it in retrospect? Like I said, I, I can't control another coach, coaches his team. Uh, me as a football coach and a football player, you have to stop everything that comes your way, whether it's the beginning of the game or the end of the game. All right, that being said, would you have done that? Well, I'm not in a position to do that, so it's not. I'm not a hindsight guy, so I just go from there. What, what's the What's the biggest challenge right now, Coach Bowles, in keeping this whole thing together? Because at one in three, you're 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 staring a you know potentially scary uh, stretch of the season here. Right in the face. Well, it's not a challenge keeping it together. We're together. We just got to make sure we understand who we are and what it takes for us to win in all three phases. You know, we we got to understand who we are on offense, who we are on defense, and what we do well on special teams. And we have to do that and focus on that. We got get certain guys that can do a lot of things, and as coaches, we have to make sure we keep them in position. And as players, they got to make sure they make the plays. I want to go back to the moral thing because I'm. I'm with you, actually. He's entitled to do whatever he wants to do. But for a team that's looking for an identity to change a culture, why not get ticked off? Why not be upset about it? Did it aggravate you that your players were didn't have a problem with it? Well, why, why not let loose and get upset about something like that? Well, there's nothing to do about it. We have four quarters to be upset and do something about it. We didn't do anything about it, so... I mean, ain't no sense of getting upset after the game and doing not doing anything about it. Coach, are you okay with effort but not okay with execution or are both of them a problem effort's been outstanding execution has not been consistent so is that on the player or the coach on both i'm the head coach so it all falls on me but everybody has to take be accountable do you believe that the offense is a bit vanilla because you have a rookie quarterback would you like it to open up more and take more chances downfield I think it's opening up a little more. We took some chances in the game yesterday. Uh, we got to take some more. I don't know if we stayed on the field long enough uh, in the first half yesterday because the defense was out there in the first quarter, but it's going to spread out and it's going to open up more and more each week, so I'm confident that will happen. You know, when you look around the league, it's even the young quarterbacks, you look what Baker Mayfield did to you, look what he did uh, against Oakland uh, yesterday, it, it's routinely quarterbacks are going out, throwing for 300 yards, 400, 400 yards, chucking the ball downfield. I understand you're trying to develop a young quarterback, but maybe isn't that part of the development? Even if he, yeah, you know, listen, if you lose yesterday throwing four picks, I can get it. It's a young co quarterback, but you you won the turnover battle plus three, and it, it doesn't happen too often you get blown out when you win the turnover battle. So maybe can you be more aggressive? Well, we tried to be more aggressive, and certain covers that they had took away certain things. It's not like we were trying to just dunk and dink and dunk. We were trying to go down the field a little more. We had some plays dialed up, and they backed off some things that they normally don't do, and they did some different things and took care of that. But we, we're definitely trying to go down the field. Can you learn anything from watching Denver tonight, or would you just have to go deeper into the film Tuesday and Wednesday? Uh, you can see a little bit, and then you got to make sure you see what you see the next day. Now, I don't believe in must-wins unless it's mathematical. That's, that's my little quirk. But do you look at these next couple of games as really, really important for the season to stay on the track? Yes, I do. I mean, I look at each game that way, but definitely, definitely these next three right now. Coach, we thank you. Uh, we'll probably see you on, on Sunday. If not, we'll talk to you on Monday.